So I'm driving back in the dark from a sound gig in Buffalo, New York. I was helping somebody out and they have uh, some powered speakers that are on lifters. And they were having a problem of picking up AM radio stations through them. Now they have digital power amps built in and they're using digital consoles. And the theory with all this is that those problems don't exist with digital stuff. But nonetheless, there's a radio station playing loud enough in the background that it's kind of in the way. So I contacted a friend of mine down in Pittsburgh, who's quite honestly the smartest guy I know in audio, a guy named Ed Simon, and asked him what the problem potentially could be. And he said, it's probably coming in through the power cables. And I was like, what? 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 He said, yeah, it's probably the power cables because it's there even when the input to the speaker is unplugged. So I was okay, maybe that's a possibility. He said, what do I do? He says, ah, wrap them in foil. And we got a hundred feet of power cable coming back. So he said, nah, just, just from the speaker to the ground. Just do it from the speaker to the ground. And I was like, okay, so I don't, don't want to do it in foil. I happen to have a big roll of copper mesh back at my house. So I went and got that and got back to the site and just wrapped copper mesh around the power cable from the speakers are about 16 feet in the air down to the ground and then I tied one end of it to ground so I did at one end I took an XLR and took pin one and tied it through there the other end I actually tied it to an AC ground and lo and behold the AM radio stations are gone but it's an interesting thing that you can actually get rid of a problem like that when it's coming from the power cable Everybody always assumes, as I was, that it's some kind of a signal path problem or it's an inherent problem inside the speaker, like if the power amplifier itself is picking up RF. Loud in the system! Help, help! I'm being repressed! But the interesting part with this one, it was kind of the test that proved the uh, theory before I even did the copper wrap. So when I lowered the speakers down so they were only about five feet off the ground, the problem went away. So as soon as the cable wasn't a vertical antenna, which if anybody understands how antennas work, that makes it so that the vertical piece of wire is acting as a really good dipole antenna. Um, that, that was my first indication. Yeah, it's actually the power cable. And I've actually never had this problem for quite a while, ever since digital stuff came out, you know, running AES-50 and other protocols. Never have had this problem, but in this particular case, I did. So it's just something you can try if you run into a problem. This was AM radio. People have been having problems with 5G. There's all kinds of things, but your vertical runs of power cable can actually be a problem. Just a word to the wise, old amplifier racks with passive speakers have some significant advantages when this kind of stuff comes up because you don't have those issues. I've used some line arrays on some outdoor events uh, from DB, and uh, it's, it's not DB, it's DB Tech, I forget what they're called, but anyway, it's a big passive line array, and the amp racks are on the ground, never had problems like that. So all these powered speakers are kind of cool until you add a giant antenna between them and a power source, and you start picking up stuff. Well, I'm going to keep driving for a while because I don't have a choice. This video ought to be interesting. It's a double take video, which means it's technically filming me and filming my car moving forward. Yet there's no light in the car, so it probably doesn't show much of me. Turn the dashboard lights up. That helps almost not at all. Definitely no. So maybe the video editors will put like a CG character in or something. Positively no. Get some AI to do something interesting. Decidedly no. Uh-uh. Uh, to make this uh, more interesting video. Good night, guys.